Minsan, meron kayong nararamdaman. Minsan, wala kayong nararamdaman. Kaya, dito papasok yung soft gel. Ayan. So, tell me naman how potent the soft gel is. Uh, Doctora, the soft gel is also very potent. That is one thing we would like to remind our users. Pag tinake mo siya, it's best that you take it with meals. With meals? Yes, Doctora. Before... <laughs> Kasi, Doctora, when you... At the time of uh, diba, sa meals, na, doon natitrigger yung secretion ng enzymes. enzymes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. your soft gel is more of the fat. Yes. So uh, that's the best way, that's the best time na madadigest. So it is yan. best to take it with an enzyme. Yes, an enzyme, <laughs> a lipase <laughs> enzyme. <laughs> yes, a lipase <laughs> enzyme will be best to help yeah, the yeah. digestion. Uh -huh. Kaya lang po, talagang sa ngayon, uh, ang ami recommendation is to take it with meals to maximize. So, no coffee, yeah. no juice, uh -huh. or no soft drinks because you cancel out the effect yeah. of the soft gel when you make your stomach acidic. So, net effect, all of the things that you said, the coffee, the uh, soft drinks, those are all pro-inflammatory foods, yes. no? And then here you have your anti-inflammatory product which hasn't been absorbed yet. Yes. So are you trying to tell me that um, the oil is instantly used but the soft gel will have to be uh, digested yet? Correct, Doctor. That's why we recommend the application of oil topically, especially yeah. for the uh, joints or superficial na mga uh, inflammation and pain. Okay. For deep-seated uh, inflammation like mga pancreatitis, sa mga prostatitis, yung sa mga psoriasis, yan, you will have to take it to give a systemic effect. Those were the studies, the clinical studies made by these uh, doctors both in Germany and in, in Europe and in the States. So you see, ito hong aleya natin, hindi lang basta-basta, hindi lang ho puro testimonial, no? At saka, meron ho siyang scientific basis. Yan ho ang tunay na rason kung bakit ko in-endorse ho ito. Kung hindi ho, hindi ako nakaupo dito, eh. <laughs> anyway, going back, yung soft gel, we have excellent uh, experience in, the, in its health for cancer patients. Um, but it is mega dosing, no? So, because when you have ca when a person has cancer, kung talagang tutusin, almost all body organs are inflamed. They are all impaired. Parang ba, ay nako, pwede ba? So that means, talagang may inflammation all over. So when you give the Olea soft gel, instant relief, a lot of pain is removed, and you can just see them really improving uh, because of the imbalance of the pro-inflammatory hormones and the pro uh, anti-inflammatory hormones. Kaya nga ho, ang pinaka-importante talaga, um, of course, for you to use Olea, but the real change should be in your diet. You know, kahit na ho, um, irab nyo na o maligo na kayo sa Olea, pero kung puro naman junk food so ang kinakain nyo araw-araw, parang nagbabalance off lang yun, sayang lang ho. Kaya nga, kung gusto nyo talagang gumaling, gusto nyo mawala ang pamamaga at saka mga sakit, mag-change rin ho kayo ng diet. At nakikita naman ho ninyo yung mga brochures natin, bawal, I mean, bawasan o mamaya alisin sa inyong diet ang mga fast food. So yung cola nyo, yung hotdog nyo, yung, yung ano ba nyo, yung hamburger nyo, lahat na delata, french fries, lahat ho supposed to be nung masarap. Uh, last thing on the diet. Kung gusto kong sabihin sa inyo or pa, paalala sa inyo, kung tingnan nyo ang ating mga lola at lolo, Sila ho ay mga 86 years old, 90 years old, 100 years old. Yung hong, tanong niyo sa kanila, ano ho ang kanilang pagkain noon? Ano ang kanilang merienda noon? Hindi naman yun hotdog, wala nga nun, wala ang ha, walang hamburger. Ano ho? Nilagang saging, nilagang kamote, nilagang kamoteng kahoy, ano ho? Bibingka, puto, yun ho. Wala ho tayong mga trans fats doon. <laughs> Kaya nga ho, talagang mas matagal ang mga buhay nila. So, what is the normal recommendation for soft gel? What we recommend is to take at least one. One. One soft gel daily. But if you think you have, your diet is too much uh -huh. loaded with pro-inflammatory, then you can take at two. Up to two. Pero pag therapeutic yung gusto nila yung for cancer cases, probably merong iba nagbibigay ng 
3. Yan sila. At saka may mga loading dose ang mga doctors. Yeah. Talagang, as you were saying earlier. I give 6 to 10. Oh. <laughs> really? But you, you really see the change. Oh. For the loading dose, doctora, siguro they can try 3. Three. With me, uh, one soft gel with every meal. With me every meal for up uh, 30 days. Ah, I see. Yes, and then after that, they can reduce it to one soft gel daily. When you first tried this, what was the pain within you that was help? Tell me nga. I was about to go to Baguio. Mm -hmm. Talagang biglang sumakit yung from my uh, knees up. Mm -hmm. Talagang sabi ko. You know naman sa Baguio, di ba, lalakad ka ng malayo, so ganyan-ganyan. Talagang sabi ko, I cannot pass this up. So, that night, the night before I left, talagang nag-apply ako ng ule, lavender. Talagang nirab ko siya. And I was really praying, I have to go to Baguio, I would like to enjoy Baguio that, uh, the following day. And you know what, the following day when I woke up, not a trace of pain, sabi ko, Oh my God, it really works even on me. <laughs> Kaya talagang, I don't leave home without it talaga. I bring it with me. And even my mother, mm -hmm. she has it with her. And I'm so happy that, happy that even my aunties, talagang they, have, they, they carry it, they carry a bottle of Olea wherever they go. Yeah, in fact, our goal is to have one Olea oil in every household. Mm -hmm. That's your goal. But my goal is for one to have one in their pocket every time. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, what else um, should people know about Olea, both the oil and the soft gel? Uh, it is not a cure, doctor. Yes. Yes. No, it's like only anti-inflammatory, and inflammation is one of the symptoms of a disease. Yes. So, hindi pwedeng sabihin Olea will heal or cure them completely because as you mentioned earlier there should be a change of diet mm -hmm. there should be a change of lifestyle and if there is really a need for a doctor they have to see the doctor to yeah. determine the main cause of inflammation yes. yeah, what's causing the inflammation meron bang infection meron bang ibang foreign thing in the body that has to be removed so oleya po cannot be claimed as cure all I know that um, camphor and uh, methyl salicylate has always been in all oils, you know, we have all of these oils, in fact, every one of them, no? And I think that was what your dad really had, uh, was, that was what in oil of wintergreen was, no? And um, we also have the researchers that have proven that these are not really healthy and there is a toxic level in the body that can kill a person. And um, we have the example of this runner that placed um, the um, anti-inflammatory, anti-pain uh, lotion all over her body and she passed away. It's sad that this is a young runner had to die. Anyway, um, the soft gel is basically for the, what they should take and, uh, when they have uh, any itis. If you look at the names of all of the ailments, tonsillitis, itis so yung dulo. Uh, appendicitis, sinusitis, pancreatitis, ano pa? Prostatitis, arthritis. Alam nyo, ano yung ending lahat? Itis. So, pag sinabihan ko kayo ng doktor, meron kayong itis, pwede nyo kong gamitin ito, itong oleya. Both the oil and the soft gel. Pero there's something that I'd really like you to, to learn. It is to use the oil for persons who have high blood pressure, right? Uh, basically because we want them to use the oil and massage the oil at least once a week, right? Uh, so because, oh, hindi nyo alam kung anong vein o anong artery na mamaga dyan. So when you use it all over your body, then you're addressing the, the problem. And then you take the soft gel. Of course, You have to change your diet. <laughs> that is the most important thing that you have to do. So in, I'd like to remind all of you that it is not the cure because in naturopathic medicine, there is only one, person, one thing that cures. That is you yourself. No drug can cure you. No person can cure you. You cure yourself. So you have to do... What you have to do is to take the nutrients and do the necessary things in order to let your body cure itself. Doctora, meron kami isang uh, uh, visitor the other day in the office, mm -hmm. dialysis patient. Mm -hmm. He was so excited in learning that talagang yung uleya helped him. Kasi 